Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k in Crystal Tomato This time again with our little psycho background I've cleaned up our inventory a tiny little bit Still we are on the hunt for new items um, To increase our power rating Which didn't increase the last couple of episodes I think too too much The current power rate, our current power rating is 365 and I planned to do this little hunt here although I have to say a little disclaimer I do not know whether we are going to make it so anyhow we will try it out and see whether we are going to make it or not so let's take a look I would like I would rather prefer to do the Daimonic Incursion, but I think we did that the last time with the Psycho. So we just go on with this little hunt here. And the mission briefing. An, 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 oh man, my English today again. An, an, <laughs> sorry, an ancient white vessel harboring heretic degenerates has suddenly translated from the warp and is now orbiting the planet. The Conclave decided that the vessel shall be reclaimed rather than destroyed. Justification, there we have insufficient clearance. Anyhow, orders conduct a preliminary raid and remove the moral threat prior to the arrival of reclamation forces. The threats are the usual staff objectives. Eliminate all high value targets on the map to complete the mission. Eliminate all marked targets. The enemies of the Imperium are infinite, and such a vast threat can only be fought with ingenuity. Kill the Masters, and you will render a sea of vermin helpless. Well, let us see. I'm still not sure whether we are able to do that. As you've seen, that we still we are having a little trouble, for example, with um, Nurgle Hellboots. So, once the target we have to kill is actually a a help route there we are going to have a little problem at hand so we will go on anyhow and there you see we are already going down in health I'm not sure from which enemy target that actually was coming so let's take those guys down here all right that one is down and let's kill the Psycho Ridge does, they do a ton lot of damage. I am not, I'm I'm a little bit surprised by that, to be honest. Because, you know, I always knew they can do quite the damage once they focus on you. So I guess the problem there was that we stood in the beam there, which gave us obviously a little bit of trouble. Anyhow, first one down. Bad thing is we have already used one inoculator, which, as you may know, is not really good. So let's take them down. I still hope that we are able to take care of the targets we have to kill. Problem is, um, I think if we go on doing you know the green missions which um, which have a power rating which is more suitable to our power rating i think it would take on ages until we are at the next step so that is my try now to do a harder mission to increase our power rating there whether we are going to make it i have absolutely by now no clue at all so maybe the good part here is that these Black Legion, Jump Pack, Raptors, whatever you want to call them, are not close combat um, and range combat, so I think they would have done more damage when they would be, you know, capable of doing close combat. Anyhow, that's not the point. First of all, let's... Oh, it's a Decimator. So that could be a dicey battle as well. The only good part there is that, a dec that the Decimator, as far as I remember, does not, um, does actually not summon Nurglins or whatsoever. And fun fact, I only had problems with the 
Nurgle help route with the World Bearer help route, which is actually summoning Nurglings, I didn't have any problems. You know, the Nurglings are easily killed off. The um, other guys of the Nurgle help route, the um, the Black Bearers, I am um, are harder to kill, and we weren't able to kill them in time before he summoned the next ones. That actually was the problem with the. Um, with the, you know, Nurgle Hellboot. Anyhow, we will for now retreat. I have the feeling that we are not going to make it. We are losing our HP so fast. And if we make it, if we make it, you know, you can expect a longer episode because we need to retreat and regen quite a lot of the time. Let us for now take some cover and try to take out a couple of guys there. What we of course have to do before we face the... Oh crap. Before we face the decimator at hand, we have of course to kill the shield generators, which nearly every one of them actually has. So that would be the next part. I know there are decimators who don't, oh, uh, who don't own, who don't actually have a sheet gen or three gen sheet generators so if you're lucky he doesn't but I wouldn't count on that for now so one more down he even nicely exploded could you tell me did was there a new content there wasn't a new patch I'm just now a little bit confused about the little blue bar at the guys which I haven't seen before. So is it some sort of shielding? Probably isn't it? So let's then try to take one guy at least down here. That one is gone. The good part is that we have a inoculator refill up at um, up here, which we of course are going to take. So before, okay, the um, decimator doesn't have any sheet generators, so we are now, of course, first of all, going to take down his the appendices here, the little extra guys, and after that, I will have to deal with the decimator, which is close combat. I don't know whether that is going to be good or bad for us, but that we are going to find out soonish, I guess. So let's pump some shots. Oh, good lord, that was a good hit there. Then first hand everything on... Oh crap! On the little guy. Oh, that was predictable. Crap! So, <laughs> two deaths already. By the Emperor, let's not do this one more time. Yes, I hope so. So, I guess for the next episode we are going to try out a power rating which is a little bit more suitable for us. That is what is, I think, absolutely necessary. So, some shots into him. Another inoculator, I don't want to die as of yet. So this guy is down. I take the biomantic sword I want to actually take with us. If we die. So his shield is actually nearly down, which is good for us. So shield down, now we actually get at his HP. The thing is we definitely need to stay out of his bloody flamethrowers. They are intense. Bad part is we are low on HP. Really, really low here. So let's kite him a little bit. We can use aim. Yeah, I need you to take that. And we are not really doing much of damage. That is really hard at the current point here. That was a nice little shot there. Alright. 
He is nearly down. Nice. Ooh. Right there was the you know warp heat problem again. The thing is, I we have cleared you know we have taken care of the first guy there. I oh I wanted to say I don't know whether we can clear the rest of them. No, we can't. Is the most terrible punishment of all. So I need to take a look what we are going to do here in the next episode, guys. Or not in the next one. The next one, of course, is going to be with our uh, Crusader background, but in the next one here. Is that any help whatsoever? Yes, it's... Nah, no, not really. I'm to switch that. Doesn't bring us anything as well. So, the inoculator is a upgrade. Ah, but no health upgrade, actually. The Signum is definitely a upgrade. So 30, 29, 29, 29. So I'm gonna switch them. No upgrade there as well. And that actually, guys, brings us to the end of this episode, guys. And as usual, I really thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode anyhow, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And well, I will see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.